we're here picking up our metal for this wing. Uh, bought us a whole sheet, six feet long. This is off the uh, drop bin, so the edges are a little tore up on it on this one side, but the other side's good. So I'm gonna get him to go ahead and chop it off at 15 inches and make my life a whole lot easier and uh, get this back to the house. All right, so what we're gonna do today, Harper, tell them what we're doing today. What are we doing? She's putting bolts down her shirt. Harper, where's them bolts at? You know that's a sign that I did something. All right, so what we're gonna work on today is a spoiler. We just grabbed the metal from the, alum or the aluminum from the metal yard and we're gonna get this spoiler off. This is what is currently on it. It's just a duck bill. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a drag wing uh, spoiler on this one. If I don't like it, I can always take it off. It's not like that hard. Well, I actually took this off, so we'll just go ahead and do this again for YouTube magic. Okay, so that's all it was. It's just a uh, rubber duck bill that's actually just um, double-sided tape on. So get that off. All right, so here's what we got with our cardboard. Now we had our aluminum at um, the metal yard chopped at 15 inches. So what I have done, um, and actually if y'all see this, I cut the piss out of my hand loading aluminum like this. And then basically it slipped when I was loading it in the cut and sliced it really freaking deep. Probably should have went and got stitches, but I uh, wanted to just get straight to work when I got home this afternoon. So I drove home with holding pressure on it, got home. And uh, it was like an hour and it was still bleeding. I said, screw it, we're gonna have to tape it up and rock and roll. Anyway, 15 inches. Got my metal chopped at 15 inches. This is your trunk line, okay? I needed this extra just to help for mock-up, just to give myself something to tape to so that basically cardboard was sitting on top of the trunk lid instead of sitting flush with the trunk lid like it will be. So I've just got a magnet, which is a little bit heavy and um, you know, holding downwards pressure. And then I have it shimmed up underneath there on top of the parachute mount. Parachute mount, I'm gonna try to take it out the car, put it in the tube bender and bend this some more. So basically it's like this right now. Hopefully I can straighten it out like that, or we're just gonna go ahead and whack this off and I'm gonna lower this way down so that it's sitting more down here so that it deploys outwards past the wing. Um, but that's gonna be, you know, that line that you see right there, that's gonna be flush with the deck lid so that it's flush and smooth. It's not gonna be sitting on top of the deck lid. It's gonna be flush whenever we're done. Um, ignore this. This is for in a second when I show y'all something. So I've taped up my end caps. On this car, you have these end caps that actually bolt in from the inside of the quarter panel. And I've taped them up to protect them while I'm working on it. But that's my square piece of aluminum that I had cut. I had them cut it long because I didn't know what I wanted to do with the end, end, but I did go ahead and have them chop it at 15 inches because I knew that's what I wanted. And that way I didn't have a uh, grinder cut, you know, that was swervy. That way it's a clean chop for tomorrow whenever I transfer this over. So then what I did is I am do wanted, I did want to build a strutless wing. So what I did was I cut up a bunch of cereal boxes. I come in here, let me cut the light on. Okay, so I come in here and I took my cardboard and we could square cut it and I went inside there like that, okay? And then I traced it against the edge of the trunk up there at the yellow tape, you know? And that gave me the contour of the end. So this is what I ended up with after I traced it, okay? So there's your pattern. That is what, you know, butts up pretty, pretty tight, decent. I mean, it could definitely be trimmed. Um, and my yellow tape is not all the way to the edge of the trunk. So the trunk lid is right here where the yellow tape's up there, just so it don't mess you up. So that is the template for how it's gonna butt up to the trunk. Now, notice it's short. It's just a um, trying to find that curved angle. Okay, so then I threw that back on the bench and cut out some more cardboard, and I knew I wanted to add some mounts to it. So I retraced it on here and then I drew out uh, three, I think this is three quarters by three quarters in these spots that are the closest to flat. Everything is curved. Now I do think I'm gonna go back and add actually a flange along here. Uh, I have Mike weld it, but like we went over in a uh, burn down tubes video, I have to think when I'm doing this, it makes it a little harder because I have to find ways to build this thing at the house without uh, being able to tack it together enough to get it to hold it in place so that I can take it to the shop and then get Mike, uh, you know, to do any tack, uh, tack stuff. But this will actually allow it to um, 
to be basically put on um, in mock-up and then he can weld I'm thinking a flat piece to the inside of here where my pointer finger is you know a flange uh, just to give it some strength anyway I'm rambling a lot so I come in here and after I did that I tested it again okay so there you get the idea the rivet would be a little lower in this one on the curved part but again this is going to be down here it's going to be flush so the rivet actually would be more up top so um or we might put a nut insert in there and bolt it who knows but anyway that's basically you get a gif of it so there's gonna be tabs on each strut and again we're still short we're just trying to figure out how we're going to do it and then i was like okay i like that um now we need to add one inch and a bend to the top. That way it can rivet into the top of the wing. So then you go back to your workbench and you lay your cardboard down, fold your tabs back out, trace it again. And this time you add an inch. So this one also did longer because I knew this one I wanted to go ahead and start figuring it out. So here's my tabs laid out. This one is folded and taped already. Um, so folded it, you know, drew uh, traced out what i had here basically just like this okay so you trace all that out you got this big square and you got a big piece of cardboard so you trace that out now you're going to add one inch in that direction and then you cut a square and then you're just going to make your sweep of whatever you want like that you know and then of course go up one inch because you're going to be bending it like this so you want to count for that so I decided I wanted to go, since this is basically three quarters this way, I wanted to come off this corner and go three quarters this way so that it was kind of flat right there because I just didn't want to come off of this point to this because I felt like it'd be a little stronger if I come in straight and then go up. So that's what I did. So three quarters, three quarters, three quarters. This was the same thing for three quarters, but being I bent this an inch, I learned when it's time to do my aluminum, I actually want to step this top one you know up to one inch probably so or i might cut it from this point to here at a triangle where you can just barely get a ribbon in there but probably not probably not i'll probably just keep this square so i made myself a note that whenever i undo this to make sure i go an inch that way this corner butts up uh, perfect and then what i'll have mike do is mike will go in each one of these and you know i'll make the bends and then he'll weld this seam right here together so that the top of this is really strong and then we'll probably put a gusset on each of these if they need it but they probably won't by the time you put this flange in here this little you know flat piece of flange that shapes that you probably won't even need need nothing but um yeah so then i put took it in my bender i am using a harbor freight bender which when we go to bend the metal i'll probably actually show you all some of the bends but i actually did even though it's cardboard i did it all in the bender so that um it would be nice and crisp okay so you would get sharp bends from mock-up so now you have your bend and now what you're basically looking like is come underneath here and now she'll go up like that okay so it'll get attached to the trunk lid like that and then it'll come back i know it's a little long again this is just mock-up stuff okay um it'll get attached like that and then it would just get riveted to here riveted to the uh deck lid of the wing the top whatever the technical term for that is i believe that's going to be deck lid and then you'll have uh no struts okay so you'll basically have something like that it just won't be frosted flakes so i'm thinking one on the end one on the other end and then split it different and do two so do four total down this whole thing all right so then you got to figure out your sides okay with your sides i basically um pretty much did the same thing i took a big square piece and um, i've got this at the angle i want pretty much i don't really care about a level it being perfectly level but you can see it's pretty close you know the trunk lid kind of sweeps so i don't want this thing to like shoot off really level and look like crap so i wanted to keep it downwards just a little bit um but i mean it's pretty close it looks good so this is not a 90 from this to the edge of this is not a 90 it's actually bigger than a 90 so you just cut you a big piece of cardboard and what i did was lay it up there get it right on the bottom side down here where my thumbs at okay on that edge where you want it get it right across your top um, where you want it and then you'll fold roll this in and then you'll mark that mark right there because this needs to be basically cut like this this is extreme but you get that gif so you have to put that mark which is where 
my end cap is because my end cap's right here. So I kind of, you know, originally I kind of want my side spill panel to, I'm thinking Zeus into here. And I'm thinking just one Zeus, put some clear, uh, like clear brawl, clear practice plastic, protect them, 3M sticker stuff over this. And then that way it can just Zeus in. Then you're good to go. And when it's time to open the trunk lid, I'm thinking right now, you just undo that Zeus and then the whole thing picks up. You know, or I'm thinking no Zeus here, nothing here, and do a um, one of those adjustable bars that go from like about right here on the uh, side panels up to, you know, the, up in here somewhere or whatever to brace it and then have it where it just barely clears this so that when it comes back down, you know, it doesn't scratch it, but still put some probably protectant on there because it will, I'm sure, rattle just a little bit against it. But you got you mark it up here, so you go back to your bench, cut that off, and now you have your rough, uh, you have this angle to this, okay? And then I knew I was going to be an inch up on here, so I made sure when I did it that when I held everything up, I made sure basically that I was sticking up an inch like that, okay? And then I held everything and marked it over here. Took it to the bench, cut all that out, and had a square piece originally i'll show you the piece that i've got to now we're at the honey nut cheerios now so there's your one you know your your one inch piece so let me stick this back on and i'll show you where we're at all right so that's where we're at so originally you know you'd have a square that goes all the way out to here and then i kind of just kept i actually cut this thing twice i originally cut it like way down here like at a 45 and i sat back and looked at it i was like no i don't like it so i chopped more out of it steeper it was running from like here originally it was like here to here and i was like nah too big so i took more out of it and i had it running from like here to up here and i was like nah i still don't like it, it covers up tail lights too much as i so then i moved it up and chopped it from there to here where it's at I rolled my edge and i was like i like that remember this is all going to be lined up when it's you know said and done it's just mock up so i can see what i'm working with right now um you know and then i'll know to extend or shrink or whatever when it's time to trace it out so that's what i'm at and then i took and made sure i have an inch sticking up of course it's just cardboard so it's not perfect but you'll have an inch sticking up and then you'll also have a wicker bill across the back whenever i get to that point but that's just where i'm at right now and i was gonna film like all kinds of you know step by step by step on this but it is friday afternoon harper was out here and she was just not letting me film it's almost like when she sees me holding the phone and talking she knows i'm filming and she literally just starts yelling and or like talking really loud and coming over here pulling on my leg wanting to be held and so it's like she wants attention when i start filming so it's like i can't i can't do it so i had to kind of just work and then catch y'all up to where i'm at on it um i did put some curve in it this way so if you look down the quarter it does have curve in it um the only thing i don't like and i'm about to fix tonight probably is it kind of appears like your quarter's going this way and then your wing jumps out like that. So I'm thinking, I'm gonna try, I don't know. I mean, that thing looks really close. I'm just, I'm wondering if I should like chop it back like this. Not that extreme, I'm just trying to show y'all. But if I should chop it in, you know, just a little bit. I need to check the, let's check it real fast actually while I have the camera out. So let's put a level down side of this car y'all but like oh my god so yeah just what i thought if i if i hold it where i'm not really bending the wing okay so that's just barely touching the wing right there you can see the gap okay so it's like my spill panel is not at the same angle as the car because it's touching over there so if i push it in you can see it bends the spill panel in is that a spill panel y'all comment is that the side piece of spill panel i know the back's a wicker bill the top i'm calling it the deck lid top i know that's probably wrong uh somebody let me know the correct terminology so i can stop sounding like an idiot so i really feel like that's called a spill panel but i could be totally wrong so maybe i will just leave it actually uh you know and not cut the top of my uh, the top of the wing but i don't know i just feel like i feel like the top of the wing needs to be cut a little bit let me see if I can fold that down without tearing everything up. Yeah, see when I'm pushing and bending that in, the top of the wing needs to be chopped a little. 
So I think I need to chop that a little. So I'll take this side piece back off and probably hold this level up here and try to eyeball it and mark where the wing needs to be cut in basically, you know, a little like that. Um, and then that will straighten, straighten all that out. But that's the whole point of cardboard. So it's a little easier than um, aluminum. And then basically, you know, once you bend this, bend this up and everything, you'll have it all figured out. Now, you might be thinking, well, how are you gonna attach this to this? See, here's my notes. I need to add one inch to both sides, that side and this side, because I've got it stopping at the body line right here, but I need to add one inch so that I can put a bend like this. That way, basically, I can bend it down, you know, so it comes like this and then goes down so I can put rivets through the side like this. So cool thing about cardboard is you can make yourself notes um, so when you go to do the final bend up and the final cut, you, you have it right. So I'm gonna put the camera down and I'm gonna figure out this angle that needs to be chopped on this one. And then um, pretty much, you know, your left and right should be exactly the same. So all I have to kind of do is one side and then just duplicate the pieces and make sure they're the same. And I'll probably measure off of um, here to there, divide it, find the center line move the center line to here and then measure from here to this because this is going to be an angle copy this side's measurement to that side measurement and they should be the same angle i might check that side with a level uh do it the same way so that i know they look the same but um yeah that's some basics so i'm gonna keep rock and rolling and uh see if i can get this thing cut out this weekend Okay, so here's what we're thinking and I'm kind of really thinking like this y'all not taking this side panel over the side of the car basically just bringing it up to it I'm almost thinking um, putting a 90 degree tab on this uh, panel is like I said if I ever wanted to take this back off I could unbolt this plastic repair this piece is plastic plastic repair this paint this one little uh, filler uh, extension on the quarter and not have to mess with the car. I don't damage the car. So I'm modifying just this extension, which is easily repaired if needed. Um, but basically coming in here and putting a 90, I got this tape stuck right here, but uh, riveting a bracket on here that would come off and then put a Zeus fastener through this. That way it's just going over a, a bracket that's riveted to the plastic panel that way if i ever wanted to take it off i don't have to repair a big zeus hole in here all i have to do is repair three little plastic holes and you already know if you watch my other videos that that's a walk in a park for me to repair anything plastic like that um so obviously it wouldn't be going this long um it would get you know shortened but i just wanted to kind of see what it looked like you know mounting it more up flush with this and obviously you wouldn't have this funky crap going on because this deck lid would be or the top of the wing not deck lid the top of the wing would be more flush with the deck lid the actual trunk of the vehicle so it'd be down so this is just rough mock-up but there's what it looks like with it chopped in so to me that looks a hundred times better if we get back here and then you know roll in on the car i don't know this body line still kind of sweeps like Maybe that thing shouldn't be cut quite that hard, you know? Um, that might be a little extreme. You can see on the time lapse that I took the ruler and went right down the quarter with the airflow. So maybe I should not go off of looks and I should just keep it where I know the air is moving down the quarter like this. That way the air is not moving like this and then all of a sudden having to kick out. So my opinion is it should be straight, you know, down the quarter like that that's my opinion probably won't matter for as slow as this car is going to be but you know why not think correctly so there we go i think that's how we're going to cut it so that way it's not a 90 because i don't want the wing to look tacky like it was uh thrown together i want to have it look like it had some thought and it. it was actually made for the car but that's uh that's probably what it'll look like with the uh, you know struts underneath the bottom that way when you go to the gas station all you do is zeus that out because this fuel cell is in a trunk so one zeus on each side turn the key pop the trunk lid and i'm thinking it'll be light enough that it'll hold itself up if i'm wrong then i'll rig up some kind of pin system to keep it up probably real quick uh so you can just throw it in to keep it up the wicker bill i'm thinking about um scalloping it you know where it has the scallops in it 
uh, like, you know, a lot of the wings, like that wing up there, that's Randy's old wing up there. You can see how it has the, the scallops like this out of it. Camera's trying to focus, you know, thinking about doing some scallops in it, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, we just want to get the wing built first. So that's where I'm at.